Good evening to one and all here. We are Celtero talking, going to talk about the tackling uh, top death causing disease called cancer. Cancer in UAE is causing death of 10% where the government has taken steps to reduce it by 18% in national agenda 2021. We all would have come across uh, some way or the other a cancer patient in life, but it's very painful. Two different cancer patients cannot be given the same treatment, which led to a concept called personalized medicine, where the samples can be taken from the cancer patients and can be used in the lab scale, as well grown into organ-like models and can be stored in the wires at extremely lower temperatures. There are key problems in these. To prepare an organ-like model, it requires one to four weeks of time, plus more than eight steps, and it cannot be stored for longer time. As well, storing these cells in the biobanks, it requires more space and more manpower, as there are many number of cell types, more than 5,000, and it, it has 20 million vials like these, where we, Cell Tiro, has come up with a solution that we replace the vials with a piece of paper like this to ho hold the cells, which can hold five times more cells with 65% less reagents that can be rolled up like a, uh, rolled up and can save the space of 50% storage that can lead to $18.5 million cost saving for the biobanks. We don't stop there. We also can create six organ-like samples in these papers, not only one, but hundreds of models, which can be used for drug testing, not only for one drug testing, but multiple drugs at a time, which is very useful for the uh, pharmaceutical companies to test the efficiency of the drugs. These can also be freezed and can be used for longer term. Celtiro on a large scale envisions that a roll of paper that can be treated and can be, cells can be deposited that can be cut into pieces which can be rolled up and stored for further use. We target organizations mainly such as cell banks of Kegar 10 per 16 percent and pharmaceutical companies of lab testing which uses drugs for of about 10 percent and organ models with Kegar of 29 percent with a total available market of 60 billion dollars among that our serviceable market would be 40 percent and our first revenue for two next two years once we start the business would be half a million dollar we have revenue in three different streams where direct sales we directly sell the sample to the uh, R&D organizations as well do services such as drug testing to the pharmaceutical companies and license our technology to the cell banks. Unlike other existing technologies, we have an innovative technology that can create organ-like models with reduced number of steps that, is, that in turn is inexpensive and can be stored for long term where the uh, other products in the market does not exist that can be stored for long term. This is very useful for the researchers where they can use it very instantly. To reach our customers, we publish articles in the scientific journals as well go to conferences to give talks or exhibit our product and online portal tools where we have the Sigma or uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific which is Amazon like for life sciences where we can sell or advertise our product and we will also collaborate with industrial R&D organizations to enhance our product. We are a co-founding co team of three of us with multidisciplinary background and dynamic team with over 20 plus years in life sciences and technology. We will uh, plan to hire uh, expertise from marketing and business as we move on uh, with the business strategies and we are at the technology readiness level six, and we have patented an uh, intellectual, uh, filed an intellectual property, and we ask for $200,000 for the product development. Join our mission to fight against cancer and help us to put our technology on the globe from Abu Dhabi. 
Thank you, all of you. I op on a happy note, I open the floor for questions. So why don't, can I ask the, the, la the last question that I asked to the previous team? I'm going to ask it first. Okay. What's the story of the founders? Uh, uh, great profiles, but how did you all come together? What's, what's connecting all of you? Actually, he's Dr. Mohammad Kasami. We are, he's assistant professor in NYUAD in the biomedical and mechanical engineering department, and I'm working in his lab as a research assistant. And Bisan Samara, she's also a research assistant in our lab. So the idea, we the idea was from Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad Kasami, and we developed the technology together, and we are working on it. So you're faculty members. Uh, he's a faculty yes, member. Yes, I'm a faculty uh, member. Uh, so this idea is back to 2000 when I was a PhD student doing some internship in Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, where I realized there is a problem in cell biobanking and retrieving samples from cancer patients. And the idea kept being, you know, immature in my brain until I established my own lab here. And the first assistant, uh, research assistant joined my lab, Roal Nimri, she is here. So potentially she may join the co-founders, but officially she's not there yet. And then she started doing the experiments. We proved it works. Uh, we filed the patent. And then now uh, Pavitra and uh, B. San started to do patterning on these papers to establish the hundreds of samples within one chip, paper-based chip. So um, d d it may be a dumb question, but does the, does the patent and all the work that you're doing, does it belong to NYU? So in theory, uh, yes. So that's how in academia it goes. So we invent things, it belongs to NYU, but we can license these from, uh, from the academic institutions, and we have right, even if NYU sell that patent to some other company, as inventors, we have percentage of that. Regarding the patent, where did you file? Uh, so that's a worldwide patent. We filed the worldwide patent. Do you need to get uh, approval on this uh, technology or uh, another uh, from uh, other agencies in the States, in Europe? So the, the, the story of patenting is usually long. It may take up to five years. So the priority filing date for this patent is June, June 2017, 17, more than two years ago. So we think, we believe within the next two years, it will be, uh, now it's published online, yeah. but it will be approved. Ap approve of the technology, yes, I mean, itself. That's right. You're not planning yeah. to do the national filing for the patent? Uh, we do apply, especially when we do sell Tiro here in Abu Dhabi. As a company, we have to file it here within UAE. But with respect to kind of like FDA, yeah, this is not, not, not patent. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. That, yeah. About Sure. So this is the, the chip or the platform we are developing is the vehicle. So once you have the passengers approved, you don't need to approve a bus, for example. So we are the vehicle. All of these cell lines are FDA approved, so we don't have to get any FDA approval. Because the cells that we use, they're already FDA approved. But of course, when we move to patient samples, we need to do uh, some FDA approval on a company. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.